Conversation. We're here at the Teachers Lounge every Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. right here on the Superstation at WHPR TV 33. Before we get started, we got to thank Minister Malik Shabazz and the Get Up Stand Up Show for sharing their platform, the Get Up Stand Up Show, with us every Thursday from 8 to 9. This has been Three years we've been together with this week, and we're so, I know, right? Yeah. It went by fast. It seems like it was last month. But, you know, we're so grateful that there's an understanding man in the city like Minister Melissa Bass who understands the needs of teachers and that we have a voice. And Minister Malik helps DPSCB teachers, and all teachers, all teachers, have more control of our voice. We also want to thank Brother Dabu Mohammed at Available Geeks for sponsoring the Teachers Lounge Talk Show for the three years that we have been on. Minister Malik does share uh, Thursdays with us, but you don't have to pay for that, it's not free. But it's reasonable, it's very reasonable. So again, thank you, Available Geeks. Viewers, for all of your computer needs, whether your computer is sick, it's broken, you need a website, you need a commercial, graphic artist, listen. Call AvailableGeeks.com. <coughs> not going to spell it. If you can't spell it, we don't want your business. But if you can't spell it, you do. Okay? Give us a, give us a call or give, look us up. AvailableGeeks.com. Hello, Facebook. We hope we have you for the entire show. Greetings, greetings. Hey, we have Mr. Garvey here. How you feeling, Mr. Garvey? Pretty good. Yeah. We got nine more days of school left. I'm not even counting. Nine more days. Not this girl. I don't want to break for summer. Okay. So, so are, are the kids acting crazy in your school? Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Mine too. Everyone and, and they have never be back testing now. Exactly. So it's it's not a very good testing environment because everyone's thinking what's end of school and so am I. Oh, and you, oh, I was just getting ready to say, let me get a little volume on that, Mike. He, he, he must have been reading my, my engineer was reading my mind. Yes, Thank you, yes. Jess. And we have Mr. Weir here. How are you, Mr. Weir? Oh, just a little, just a little, um, just normally abnormal. Well, Mr. Weir had a frazzle day today. He was sharing with us in, in the lobby. Frazzle day. Maybe later on we'll share it with you. No, no, I don't think so. no, you're not going to bother me with that. It's weird as life, Lord. It's over. And that's good because we're, we're moved on. And I have to say, we have our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guest today. And this is a very, very special lady. This is Miss Lana Kay. Miss Lana Kay is Mr. Weir's former student. How about that? We here at the Teachers' Lounge, we always encourage positive relationships between teachers and students. Positive, appropriate relationships between teacher and student. And, you know, any students that are listening, let me tell you, do your best to be enriched by the relationship with your teacher. You know, we're people that will always have your back. Always. Just remember that. You know, so value us. And then I tell you, years later, you'll be like Lana. You'll contact mm -hmm. Mr. Weir, and you'll be on the Teachers Lounge Talk Show. How about that? <laughs> right. So I want to introduce our wonderful guest, Miss Lana Kay. Hi. Outside of being a former student of Mr. Weir, she's here to talk about discrimination in the workplace. Miss Kay believes she experienced ex ex discrimination in the workplace. Presently, mm -hmm. she's working on a documentary detailing her wrongful termination, bullying, and harassment on her job. She believes that the her employers even went so far to try to dictate to her how to wear her hair. Now, is that correct? Yes. Now, first of all, say hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? <laughs> first, I want to get you sort of where, how do you two know each other? What school? Well, you, well, you know, I have to. I have to say, I was just talking to a brother, Donovan and Leslie here. Um, 
I teach a special subject. My subject is social studies, and that's what I like to talk about. And um, I always try and teach, like, real social studies. Um, when you talk about, especially when it comes to civics, you know, I let my students know that you have to fight, especially if you're African American, you, let's not play with it. Everything is not equal. You know, everybody can't, um, under the system, African Americans, they, they face discrimination. Women uh, face discrimination. So I just put in a lot of history and I just let people know, if you want the American so-called dream to work for you, then you can't be dreaming. You gotta wake up, because it's not a dream. It's a, it's a reality. And every once in a while, students like this, They'll call me, not much. I was quite surprised and flattered when I saw her email, but I could tell from the tone of it that I'm gonna let her start talking that she remembered some of these things that we talked about it in civics. And she was very passionate about what she was saying. Some students and even adults, I think sometimes we get beat down so much we just accept it. Yeah. We just say that's just the way it is. But I'm kind of anxious to hear what she's going to talk about tonight because obviously this is not one of those people that said, uh, no, this, I, I'm not going to accept it. So I'm about as interested in you guys and to see what she has to say. So uh, most of the show is going to be, I told her to just let it go. Whatever it is that comes to her mind, just let it go. So this lack head. So, you know, I want to get you started off with uh, my question. Where did you get your undergraduate? Well, I haven't, right. sorry, I don't have a degree yet. Okay. Um, I struggled in school a lot from working at my job, and I didn't notice it until, like, I failed out of school last mm -hmm. year in June, and my dean had printed out a picture of my transcript and showed me, like, to, I basically had to write a story to explain what I was going through to where my grades were bad. And I noticed like when I was working at the job and it was from constantly being harassed. And you know, I worked long hours, so by the time I get to school, I'll be so tired, too tired to do homework. And it really like, I, it really hurt me because I was just thinking like, I should have never let a job affect my school, which is like my career, which is more important. And that's like how I got fired was because I was scheduled to work on a day I had school and the manager knew, but I felt like he did it because he was trying to have a relationship with me. And Sexual harassment? Yes. Well, well, I would, uh, a little bit. Oh, you well, I was. I'm curious to know the workplace. Where yeah. Where was this job at? Yeah, it's right at the school campus. And where, where is it? Twin Peaks. What is that? It's a. It's a. Um, sorry. It's a sports bar, a restaurant. Twin Peaks Sports Bar and Restaurant, mm -hmm. Madison Heights. I'm there too. Okay. What school were you attending? The Art Institute in Novi. Okay, we're going to take this call, and then we're going to talk about what you perceive. I think it's some specific examples of what you believe was discrimination. Okay. Caller, welcome to the Teacher's Lounge. Do you have a question for our wonderful guest? You know, but I've been with you here a lot of times. You know, I uh, wanted to take a bit of Something is happening, caller. Every other word seems like it's being cut off here. You're, you're breaking up badly. I tell you what, try and hang up and, and, and call us back because you're breaking up. You're still breaking up right now. Yeah, caller, can you call us back? We can barely hear you. Oh, okay. okay. All right, please call back. And listen, audience, please give us a call to get involved in our conversation. Our call numbers are 313-868-0342 or 313-868-0351. Our last call in number is 313-868-4336. Caller, please give us a call back. We really want to speak with you. And I know what you have to say. We're interested in what you have to say. So, well, I can't say. I'm okay, in. I'm in. in. Oh, he's back. He's back. Okay, that's it. Caller, welcome to the Teacher's Lounge. How can we help you? No, I was just trying to say that was me to make this problem. And all we're trying to say is I experienced what she experienced, their level of Uh When I was going to Fulton County Community College, trying to take my best position to be You know, it was 30 minutes the class, and they put us in class, and they moved, and what they were doing, they continued out to the 
the uh, lab. What they did was they took some parts off the uh, new appliance. They made each other piece of the problem. And they put us in group contact. And as I began to speak, uh, before white suits, we need them to be in the future forever. And this is the first time I experienced this level of discrimination. And it made me wonder, what is happening? I mean, how are these people speak this way? And when I look back, history, I found out that, you know, you, brothers and sisters are special. You know, I mean, regardless of what we get into, ball, basketball, baseball, football, and it's not clear what it is. The one who created you is this. And I'm glad this is speaking out because we need to keep this on the, on the front. Because this is happening too much and it's getting to the brother getting shot down on the street like a dog. I mean, my heart hurts when I hear about things like, uh, say, my Yeah. I mean, this guy is sitting down the street and somebody can put a hole in his shit. This, this, this is unbelievable. I thought the guy is arrested and he gets his back broke. How do you get your back broke and be arrested by four cops? I mean, it's just that he has been huh? So, yeah, he can keep issues like that on the store or on the front. You understand? And please take a call. Thanks so right, much, Mark. Thank you call. Good, good. Excellent call. So, I, I kind of want to get into your story mm-hmm. about what happened. Can you explain? Uh, Go into detail if you feel comfortable, yes. like, like how it all started, how it all ended. So when I first worked there, um, I started in June of 2016. I was only 19 years old at the time, and I left because at my older job, I was making more, like it was just a better opportunity. I felt like at the moment, only money-wise. When I first like went on the interview, I didn't get hired because I had red hair, and you have to have blonde, brunette, or natural like red hair so that's part of the requirements yes only like that's it wow and um what they do is like you'll have to try on the uniform they will take a picture of you send it to corporate and then they will compare you to the twin peaks model online so if you, i believe you meet the requirement you get the job this is unbelievable. Yeah, this isn't a Hoover's restaurant. Right? Or something like that. I, I can't imagine oh, why right. appearance would be so mm-hmm. important. Yeah. Well, let's well, talk. Twin Peaks, I guess it's a double entendre with that. Mm-hmm. So, if you think about it. You think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah it just hit me. I don't think like that. You know, you just hit me. I'm an innocent mom. <laughs> so when, when, when was the first time you experienced uh, discrimination or harassment? <laughs> The first time I experienced is when my first night on the floor, I had made a certain amount of money. I made a lot, but I didn't never used to go to girls like, hey, I made this, I made that. They right. only was able to see because the tab was real, like they had a big tab. So, um, so through tips. Yeah, yeah. through tips. So um, I had learned after I was working there that the managers only made like 16 hours. So they're in charge of. Like they can see how much money we're making, so I notice when I'm making a certain amount of money on like the last week, then I'm getting like marked down. So like they have like a ranking system. Um, you have to wear your hair. You have to have pads. Sorry. You have to wear straight hair, or you have to curl your hair with flat irons. You can't wear afros. You can't wear curly hair. You can't wear a wet hair like this. That nothing, or you'll get marked down. Um, you. Get it compared to a model for your tone grade. So you have to have a certain um, figure. Uh, we also be graded on our appearance. We have like dress ups each month. You get judged. You get judged on your nails. And um, like they will put up like the requirements in the back that show you like don't wear your hair, don't let your hair look lame. Or, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that like. They would like make like little jokes like on there. So um, when I first came in, they said we couldn't wear braids. I don't know why, but they eventually approved braids because they said that Kim Kardashian is in the braids. Hold on, call. Was, was the model that they were comparing you to? She a Caucasian model? Yes. Oh. So we basically like I had told them like. I'm not getting paid to be an actor. Like, I shouldn't have to go to work and change who I am, change how I talk, just to make some money. Like, and 
another time I experienced racism was, if you get ranked low, you can't pick your section. If you get ranked high, you get to like pick your section first. So you'll have like eight or nine tables. So if you don't get to pick your section, you get stuck with like two tables. So technically you would be running food and drinks for free for a good hour and so you get sat, you get sat last. So one of the managers had told me that like another manager, if she was white, she was sneaking and changing my grades. So I was hurt when I thought about it like that I had to close, I had to run food and drinks for free, be tired, and I was doing good. Like if she didn't sneak and change my grades, then I would have been able to make more money. I still had bills to pay, you know, I don't think she was thinking like that, but I was always nice to her. I never like had a problem with her. Like even after finding it out, I still talked to her. It took for like me to be friends with a lot of the white women there for her to see I was a good person instead of just introducing herself and getting to know me. Because you expect when you go work at a job that all of the managers